Hi Taurus, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We're going to take a look at the cards for awareness for the week, for guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and insight. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have another Ten, the, the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, and we have the Fool, Major Arcana. So the Ten of Pentacles is a card that's uh, focused on family finances, family uh, security, the foundation of the family so it's it's all things related to resources and money and time for the family and so you can see in the illustration we see several generations represented we see the pets and the children and often the ten of pentacles goes to you know you're working hard you're providing for your family you are doing what it takes you get insurance for the property in the home or you are getting life insurance or you're making sure that the estate um, is up to date with wills and, and power of attorneys and medical power of attorneys all of those things you're taking care of what's needed for the family and not only the immediate family but the children and perhaps you know parents grandparents so it's energizing and putting all of your energy into ensuring that you're building and securing and adding on to the foundation for the family so then we have the, the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune always an interesting card because this wheel of fortune, the wheel is always in movement. It's always turning. And we turn along with the changes that happen naturally in the world. And we respond to them. And we know that within our life, events come and go. Things happen and they can happen quickly. Something can happen in a day that alters the next few days or the week and you have to react you have to respond you have to be ready to handle it sometimes these changes are in our favor and fantastic and other times they're not so good and we have to figure out a way to cope with it and you know and as I'm looking at uh, the Ten of Pentacles, just an example of the random changes that if, if you have all your money in the stock market and then something happens that's out of your control that affects the market and whether you have a great day or a not so great day, you know, there's the wheel and the randomness of the world and of life and how it turns and how it spins. So with the Wheel of Fortune, you may feel that the pace is picking up. You may feel that you're moving towards uh, maybe progress in a certain area or maybe a conclusion since we do see two tens here. That something might be coming to a close and we're ready to start a new phase. And I just say that because here's the Fool. But the Wheel of Fortune is the understanding that the universe is doing its thing and kind of we, we're we here at, at this level and here's the universe doing their wheel turning and we react to where we are on the wheel and we respond and that's the control that we have and that's the free will that we have is how we respond and how we move forward with with changes that occur 
So again, two tens, something coming to a conclusion, perhaps, or the final phase, and here's the fool. And so the fool is the indication of something new coming along, of you having that little message in your heart that's saying, I'm ready for some uh, passion projects. I'm ready to do something that's going to make me feel alive and excited and make me jump out of bed in the morning to go do this thing. So the fool brings this promise of this carefree nature. And again, we always say taking a leap of faith because you may be doing something out of your comfort zone. You may be choosing to do something that you're not an expert in. And you, you grow when things are uncomfortable or from discomfort, but the fool is about feeling the freedom of just enjoying what it is that you, that you want to do. So whether you want to learn how to uh, sail or, or, you know, ski, or if you want to become a world traveler and travel the world by yourself, you know, it's taking a leap of faith in order to facilitate or to start what it is that you're most excited about. It's an opportunity and you feel that now's the time to take this opportunity. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You make a poor decision. Uh, you know, again, I would say taking a leap of faith means not taking a reckless decision that would endanger your life or your property, but taking a risk that's just, you know, out of your typical structure of your life and something that's really going to make you feel good and make you feel happy. You see the dog in the illustration, and the dog is barking. So the dog could be saying, look out where you're going, you fool. Look out. The fool on the hill, just like the Beatles said. Or the dog could be saying, yippee, take me with you. So again, it's about perspective. It's, a, it's the perspective of how we approach and bring these new opportunities, these new experiences into our life. And again, something, something new. I've got a sense here that something is coming to a close and you're ready to move into a different direction. New cycles, new beginnings. Okay, let's take a look at the numerology. We have 10 and 10 is 20. And 20 reduces to 2, and 2 is about relationships, it's about partnerships, cooperation, harmony. And now let's find a, uh, determine a message from the oracle cards. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So uh, experience the darkness. And again, everyone has been in that dark place and it is looking for the light. And it's thanking the universe to, you know, when we have these feelings, when we feel the darkness of coping and of finding hope and of releasing some of the fear. It's the teacher of love, well, it's the, you know, it's the lessons of life through the eyes of the teacher of love. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. 
Well, you know, we always say sending you light and love, and those two are interlocked in my mind. So focus on the light and feel the love. So friends, I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I thank you so much to all who watch and take the time. And I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.